Hello and welcome to this YouTube presentation on the Business or Enterprise Architect Grade 3. My name is Charles Richter and I'm the Principal Consultant of Repose PTY Limited. In my introduction to the Business Architect, I mentioned that I'd be delivering this presentation on the responsibilities of the third category or class of the Business Architect, namely the Business or Enterprise Architect Grade 3. In this presentation, I'll describe the responsibilities, inputs, processes, outputs, skills, and an example of the deliverable of the Business or Enterprise Architect Grade 3. So what is a Business Architect Grade 3? As I could not find the reference to the words Business Architect Grade 3 anywhere on the net, I decided to start my search by using the words Systems Architect in a Google search and found the following Wikipedia reference. Quote, the Systems Architect establishes the basic structure of the system, defining the essential core design features and elements that provide the framework for all that follows. Unquote. So this is still not clear. Then what about Solutions Architect? I googled Solutions Architect and found the following wiki reference. Quote, the role title has a wider meaning in relation to solving problems. Unquote. And then it continues. The Solutions Architect is a very experienced architect with cross-domain, cross-functional and cross-industry expertise. Unquote. Now I don't know about you, but this still does not provide me with any definitive clue as to what a Systems Architect is or ought to be. So in my opinion, the systems or solutions architect should be defined by their responsibilities, skills, inputs, processes and outputs. As I see the business or enterprise architect grade 3 and the systems or solutions architect as one and the same concept, I will state that the business or enterprise architect grade 3 is responsible for prioritizing the organization or enterprise's strategies and tactics and with the assistance of the repose architect grade 1 writes the corporate or strategic plan, also known as the proof of concept which should contain the financials slash budgets, risk analysis, marketing plan, quality assurance, production plan, resource plan and project plan. In repose speak, this is the skill of the repose architect grade 3 or RA3. So what are the inputs, processes and outputs of the repose architect grade 3? The input a systems architect needs are the performance indicators developed by the repose architect grade 1 and the knowledge model produced by the repose architect grade 2. The process that Repose Architect Grade 3 follows is to use the entities and associations in the knowledge model. The Repose Architect Grade 3 will need to determine that if the business operatives ignore a particular entity, will there be serious repercussions? The Repose Architect Grade 3 may want to contact business operatives who are responsible for identifying the entity in the first place. It should not take longer than one week to complete the task of identifying all the strategies and tactics. The writing of the corporate plan should not take longer than three to four weeks, depending on the number of performance indicators, entities, strategies and tactics. Let me provide you with three ways to identify strategies. The first is to brainstorm them. The second uses the data model. The third is to use the knowledge model developed by the Repose Architect Grade 2. I have another presentation on these three approaches and can be provided if anyone is interested. Please see my closing for my email address. Suffice it to say, the first two techniques have proven to be problematic and may or may not reveal the right strategies and tactics at the right time. Using a higher net, the hierarchical network knowledge model, produced by the Repose Architect Grade 2, of 350 entities, a good Repose Architect Grade 3 should be able to identify and define 5 strategies and 35 tactics in less than 10 days. This is an example of a deliverable developed by the Repose Architect Grade 3. Unfortunately, due to the constraints of YouTube, the font size I'm using may make the reading of this very difficult. However, we run an online training course for the Repose Architect Grade 3 and provide a number of case studies of performance indicators and knowledge models. It can take between 35 to 40 hours to train a Repose Architect Grade 3, and this includes the use of the Casper engine. In my introduction, I mentioned Casper, which stands for Computer Assisted Strategic Planning and Reasoning, the program I wrote to support the Repose technique. It should be noted that this deliverable provides the list of projects in priority sequence. This is an example of a screenshot taken from Casper. As soon as the Repose Architect Grade 3 builds the strategies and tactics using the knowledge model, all the outputs are finally available to them in order to write the proof of concept or corporate plan, which should contain the financial budgets, risk analysis, marketing plan, quality assurance, production plan, resource plan and project plan. The Repose Architect Grade 3 enables the systems barrier to be broken. In closing, I'd like to thank you for viewing this presentation. 
The PDF of this presentation is available for a small fee should you want to assist us further the aims of repose.com and especially repose.org. You can find the aims of repose.org on www.repose.org. You can reach me by sending an email to charles.richter at repose.com. As I mentioned at the start of this presentation, I will be creating presentations covering the responsibilities, the inputs, processes and outputs, and possible examples of the output for each of the remaining information architecture grades, namely the Business Information Technology Architect, the IT Architect grades 2 through 7, as well as the two Test Architect grades. It may take a while for me to complete all the presentations, so please bear with me. If you are eager to pursue a presentation of a grade that I am not yet ready to post, please visit our website www.repose.com, select the Quick Links drop-down menu and select Repose Architects. You can always email me for more information. Once again, thank you for your attention.